Hey everyone, this is Mr. Kelbley. Hope you were able to find this video all right through your new Schoology account. Uh, today we're going to start talking about a new topic. We are going to be talking about Mendelian genetics, which is kind of a fancy name for something that I think you'll find very, very interesting. It's about how we pass on traits to our children, how you received the traits you did from your parents. So just as a review of how these videos work, you're going to have notes to fill in. Um, you're going to need to fill in anything that is purple, underlined, bolded, anything that looks like this if you see where my mouse is. You can pause, you can rewind, you can do whatever you need to so you can learn your own pace. So a little bit of review. If you're doing this podcast after what we did in class on Tuesday, you will have already learned about this. If not, it's a brief review that will help. So uh, genetics is basically the study of heredity. And heredity is how traits are passed from parents to offspring, which is the word for children. So basically genetics and heredity are very closely related. It's just genetics is the study of heredity. Also, another piece of review. This is from a while back now. A gene is a section of a chromosome. All of this is made of DNA, remember. A gene is a section of a chromosome that is related to a specific trait, which is uh, something that has to do with usually physical appearance. So, in genetics, you receive two copies of each gene, one from each parent. You have these two copies of each gene, and they come in different versions that are known as alleles. So here's an example. We're going to be talking a lot about flowers. We're going to be talking a lot about pea plants especially. The reason for this, as maybe you remember from class on Tuesday, is that Gregor Mendel, the person who invented genetics, studied pea plants. So for this example, flowers for a pea plant can be purple or white. So that means the two alleles for a pea plant are one white allele and one purple allele. Allele is just the name for that version. Alleles are represented by letters, like so many other things we've seen this year. So for example, we have a capital P for purple flowers, and we have a lowercase p for white flowers. A little more about alleles here. Only one allele... Sorry about that. Only one allele is ever expressed at one time. And what expressed means is it can be physically seen. So think of it this way. You can't naturally have both blonde and black hair. You might have the versions of both of those genes, one from each parent, but only one of them will ever be seen. The version of the allele that is always expressed, if it is present, is called the dominant allele. And that's what's represented by a capital letter. So remember, there are always two letters. If there is one capital letter, that trait will always be dominant. One dominant allele is all you need for that. On the other hand, a recessive allele is the version of that gene that will only be expressed with another recessive allele. These are represented by lowercase letters. So the way this works, again, there are two different letters together at a given time. For the recessive allele to be shown, for you to actually be able to see it, you need to have both letters as lowercase. If you have a capital letter, the dominant trait will always be shown. So here's an example. Mr. Kelpley has blonde hair because he has two recessive alleles for blonde hair. So little b, lowercase p, lowercase b. If Mr. Kelby had a dominant allele for black hair, he would have black hair instead of blonde hair. Another thing to consider here, two more terms are phenotype and genotype. The phenotype is just an organism's physical appearance, what you can see. So to remember that, just see that pH for physical, pH for phenotype. 
The genotype, however, is just what the alleles are for a trait for an organism. So the genotype is those two letters that we've been talking about. These are related because phenotype is determined by the genotype of an organism. So moving forward a little bit, there are two kinds of genotypes. Two kinds of genotypes. One is heterozygous. And heterozygous is when you have alleles with one capital letter and one lowercase letter. This is dominant. So remember, the capital letter is dominant, H, capital, lowercase h is recessive. But remember, only one of these can be expressed in physical appearance, which is phenotype. So the H is going to be dominant, the capital H. Is, so heterozygous is going to be dominant. The other type of genotype is homozygous. And in a homozygous genotype, there is an allele pair with two of the same exact letters. This can be dominant or recessive. So if it were dominant, it would have two capital letters, right? Because capital letters are always dominant. If it were recessive, it would have two lowercase letters. Because you need to have two lowercase letters for the recessive to be seen at all. So for example, Mr. Kelby has blonde hair. I have blonde hair. Or at least I did when I was younger. That's because I had both recessive alleles for blonde hair. If I had had even one capital letter dominant allele for, you know, brown or black hair or something, that's what I would have instead. 